Hey everyone, so a lot of you guys have been asking about my everyday makeup routine, so I'm gonna show you what I do every day to get ready, and it takes two seconds. I literally just rolled out of bed, so we are gonna get through this together and start the day. So I'm gonna start with concealer. So for concealer, I use the Clay de Peau, which I love. This is the best concealer ever. So for the under eyes, I just do a little bit of the Clay de Peau. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I just put it under the eyes, and then on the tip of the nose, the middle of my forehead, and the center of my chin. And the reason why I do that is because these are the lighter areas of the face that you want to bring light to. And then obviously the more contoured parts, the hollows of the cheeks, the temples are where you want it to be more contoured and darker. So it's kind of like a way of highlighting. You're covering the dark circles and you're bringing the focus to the center of your face. Oh, and then also my beauty blender is what I always use this is my ride or die Iach for life. We're best friends. We spend a lot of time together. <laughs> um, for the under eyes too, I like to go over with the NARS Cream and Concealer and it's not really even for coverage. It's just because I love, I love this color. It's in custard and it just helps pop the under eye. And a trick that I have for applying concealer to under the eyes is you always want it to be a triangle. So the idea is to bring focus obviously to your eyes and draw attention there. So you want to do kind of like a little triangle shape on both sides. And then you take your BF4L Beauty Blender and you blend, blend, blend. I honestly just kind of blend everywhere. Like I put this on my eyelid. I kind of just go for it because this is not my red carpet look. This is just my everyday makeup. I mean, I'll do this in the car. I will do this without a mirror. It's very easy. Okay, so next step is the NARS Tinted Moisturizer, and this is in Groen Land. Uh, I love this color, and I love the texture of this tinted moisturizer. It's lightweight. It has SPF, but it's also great coverage, so it's, it's perfect. Um, and again, I use my Beauty Blender because like I told you guys, we're best friends. This is now with the tinted moisturizer. Once I finish all of my the coverage with the tinted moisturizer, I go over with a concealer where I may have any breakouts. Right now I'm breaking out right on my cheek. I think this is from the plane. Not really sure, but I will tell you, I did pop it and now it's, <laughs> now it's raised and like very swollen. What do I do when I get ready and I have to have a zit? I look in the mirror and I say, Olivia, get over yourself. <laughs> we all break out. Moving on. <laughs> um, so after concealer, let's try to wake up the eyes a little bit. So I use a lash curler and it makes such a big difference. It really opens up the eye. Okay, so for eyebrows, a lot of people ask me what I do for my eyebrows. And a lot of people have asked me if I've done microblading or tattoos or all these things, but no. I've always had really, really thick eyebrows. When I was in elementary school, I actually used to be made fun of regularly for my eyebrows because people would say that I have a unibrow or they'd say that they were really big, which it's all true, they are <laughs> large, but at least now they're groomed. But anyway, so in order to get my eyebrows where I want them to be, usually I start by combing them upwards with a mascara wand that is just plain. And before anybody says anything about my terrible nails, I am getting these done right after this. They're really, really bad. I am embarrassed right now, but that's okay. We're all family. It's fine. This is the Mr. Brow Groom by Givenchy, and usually I use a mascara wand with hairspray, and that's what I've always used for years, but then I discovered this, and it's amazing. It's such a good brow gel. It's clear and it really holds the brow in place. And I think that they're even-ish, ish. So once they're kind of even-ish, I go in and I do fill them a little bit with my Dior Show Brow Styler. And I actually, to be honest with you, I don't always fill in my brows. Sometimes I like the way that they look when they're just a little, a little lighter. But I'm gonna show you what I do to just even them out. So I'm not really doing this to make them 
darker. I'm just trying to balance out the two because I can see that this one right at the top is a little bit less dense than this one. So I'm just using this to fill in the gaps. The color is fantastic. So this is the Dior Show Brow Styler and it's in Universal Brown. The Universal Brown color is amazing. Here we are. I just kind of lightly touched up the brow and the technique for this is just kind of like a, a light flick. Like you want it to literally mimic hairs. So you'd never want to go in like you're drawing or coloring in a coloring book, that would be terrible. You want to mimic little hairs. So for lips, I like the idea of starting from a blank slate. So I kind of go over my lip with a little bit of my foundation and I feel like it just creates a more dramatic effect when you do put on the lip liner. So for lip liner, I regularly use Whirl by MAC. So I go over my lips with the tinted moisturizer so then I can start with a base and then I apply Whirl. So for lip liner, I think it's about personal preference and practice because a lot of people have a hard time lining their lips. It's not really something that you can figure out right off the bat. You have to practice and also you have to decide what kind of lip shape you want. And I typically also don't overline my lips, but some people can do that and it looks really good. With me, I don't think it looks that good. It always looks like I messed up. <laughs> so I line the lips and then I kind of fill in the lip too. And then typically after I use Whirl, I, I love, love this lipstick by NARS. It's in Moon Orchid and it's this really beautiful, very sheer lip color. It almost works as a stain and it's very light and hydrating. Feels like a gloss and a lip treatment combined with the lipstick slash stain because it's not um, it's not very creamy. It's very sheer, but it gives you just enough color and hydration. It's my favorite. Um, and then when I'm not using the NARS, I will sometimes use Between the Sheets by Charlotte Tilbury. I guess I'll just use both for now. Okay, so this is the best part ever coming up, the highlight. So for highlight, I love the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand. It's a liquid highlighter. So for this, I use it at the tips of the cheek. So here, here, on the tip of the nose, and then a little bit like right at the cupid's bow. Oopsies. I overdid it a little bit. So this highlighter comes with the Hollywood Complexion Brush, which is basically what you're supposed to use with this highlighter. Although you could use your fingers, you could use a beauty blender, but I like to use this brush and just kind of pack in the highlighter. And the reason why I love this highlighter is it is pretty lightweight. Like I just kind of used a lot more than I would typically use, honestly, but it's really hydrating and it kind of blends into the skin perfectly without it being too cakey or thick. The next step is, again, another highlighter. This is by Charlotte Tilbury, it's called the Gold Bar. And then I put this exactly where I put the creamy highlighter. And I swear, everybody always asks me what I use as a highlighter and I'm really glad that now I can show you because everybody always wants to know and now you have the process because it's a two step thing. I use the wand and then I also use the powder over it and the trick to this I think when applying it isn't really rubbing, it's just like more of like a little light dab. Um, it just helps it sit more naturally. Um, and then this brush that I'm using is also by Charlotte Tilbury. It's called the Powder and Sculpt Brush. So you can use this for um, any sort of contour that you do too. But for everyday makeup, I actually don't do a contour. The only next step would be a cat eye. And I actually don't wear mascara every day either. I, I typically don't actually wear it except for when I'm doing like carpets or an event or something like that. But um, I do like to do a little bit of liquid liner because I think it just adds a nice shape to the eye. And then sometimes I will do a mascara with it, but it's usually, it's rarely. And I also find that it kind of takes away from the eye shape because it turns it more outward instead of upward. So that's why I like to avoid mascara, believe it or not. Um, it just kind of distracts from like 
the cat eye shade. This is Saint Laurent and it's eyeliner effect in black. And I like this one because it's a felt tip and it's tapered, it's just thin enough and it's also, it does not move. Like this is actually kind of dangerous because when you mess up, it's very hard to go in there and correct it. But it's also really good because it will stay all night and it will definitely not move anywhere. So this is my makeup routine that I do pretty much every day. It takes 10 minutes, it's so easy, it's very fast. I wanted to be honest with you guys and show you what I really do use every day. So here are the products, they do switch out somewhat and I will also reply to any of you guys with any concerns if you want some other options with cheaper price points because I know that some of this stuff can get expensive. But I hope that you guys learned something and let me know what you think.